Hi everyone and welcome to my most recent edition of my favourite things video series. I've gathered together some of the many things that I've been enjoying over the past couple of months and I can't wait to share them with you. It's quite a wide ranging selection this time. I've got everything here from some favourite lipsticks to a lovely candle to tea to an amazing book trough that I can't wait to show you and a favourite podcast episode. So there's a lot of recommendations here today and I hope you enjoy them. Let's start with the first one. So I wanted to talk about red lipstick. I love a good red lipstick but it can be a bit hard to wear it every day. I know I often feel I have to wear lip liner and sort of all of that and be very careful when I go sort of full red lip. So I've been looking for a good everyday alternative that's a lot more low key, less work and quicker, but is still really nice sort of lip color. And I've discovered these lip balms by Sicily, which I absolutely adore. Even though they're a lip balm, they're really pigmented, so the colour does come up very well, and they're absolutely wonderful for everyday use. I've been using these red lipsticks in almost all of my videos lately. I'm almost always wearing a Sicily lip balm, and my favourite colours are 25, 26 and 6. I'm wearing number 6 today. They're not too, too bold, although you can kind of layer them up more to get more of a real pop of colour. I tend to go for a bit more subtle, but they're really easy to apply. It's just this sort of crayon shape that I love, so it just swipes on. And because they're lip balms, they're also really moisturising, which I adore because I have such dry lips, I really struggle in the winter to keep them soft. And using lip balms rather than lipsticks really helps with that. But normally with a lip balm, you just don't get that pigment. So I normally don't love to use those when I'm filming and things like that. But these ones are so good, they have such a great colour that I use them all the time. They're a great everyday look for me and I wanted to tell you about them because I've just been really, really loving them myself and they've just been wonderful to use. I love a good sort of bold lip, especially in the winter time and these are really nice colours. So I wanted to tell you about those. And then I've discovered another new favourite candle, which I had to tell you about. This one is really putting me in the mood for spring, because it's much more of a floral scent. The make is Charles Farris, and this one is called Garden of Eden. And it's a lovely mix, it has jasmine and tuberose in it, and it just smells heavenly. I absolutely love this one. And like I said, it's just really getting me in the mood for spring and all of those fresh florals, which I'm very excited about. And I am starting to make that transition away from some of the more piney and woody winter scents into more fresh floral scents. So this is a real new favorite of mine and one I really recommend. I think it's a really good price for a lovely candle as well. So I was thrilled to get that. And then I've got this here to remind me of a podcast episode that my dad emailed me recently and I listened to it and absolutely loved it. It was a BBC podcast called In Our Time and it was their episode about persuasion and it was such a great discussion of the novel when my dad emailed it to me he said he listened to it in the car on the way to work and he was just nodding in agreement the whole time and I did the same thing I was just sort of nodding along in agreement whilst listening to this episode it was a really brilliant discussion persuasion is my very favorite Jane Austen novel my favorite love story so in the month of Valentine's I've been really thinking a lot about persuasion and I just loved listening to this podcast episode about it so obviously I'm linking everything in the video description box and it's free to listen to and such a lovely listen so I really recommend it although if you haven't read the book there are lots of spoilers so I think it's a better episode to listen to if you're familiar already with the book um 
But also, this beautiful addition has been such a wonderful addition to my shelves and I wanted to share the love a bit this month and I'm doing a giveaway of this lovely Harper Muse Classics edition of Persuasion. So if you'd like to have a chance at winning it, then check out my Instagram account, Miranda's Bookcase, where I'm hosting this giveaway, which is international as well. It's such a beautiful copy of my favorite book. Um, so yes, definitely wanted to share the love of this one, but also I really recommend the In Our Time podcast and that Persuasion episode in particular. It was just so, so good. I absolutely love it. And then I am aware of how middle-aged this sounds, but I really, really love this furniture polish. <laughs> My mum bought it for me. She, I, We needed new furniture polish and she came back with this one because she hadn't been able to find our usual one. But I was so happy that she did because it's amazing. This is method wood polish. And the scent of it is so lovely. It's got this amazing almond scent that I just love. I do all of the cleaning in the house. And honestly, I know it's a bit sad, but it made me really happy. <laughs> this wood polish because it just smelt so good. It makes dusting so much more fun. So I wanted to recommend this one to you. And I think this is quite an environmentally friendly um, cleaning brand as well. Their products are really great. I've since got another product of theirs, which is this kind of no scrub shower cleanser, which is great. You just spray it on after showering and it kind of cleans it without you having to do anything, which is ideal for me. It also smells amazing. So I'm absolutely loving discovering the method sort of cleaning range and I wanted to tell you about them as well. Scent is so important to me that I find it makes a real difference to my mood when I do things and I'd never realised before what a difference having beautifully scented cleaning products make. It just makes me so much happier <laughs> when I'm cleaning. Um, and then also a real favourite thing of mine recently has been this afternoon tea writing set by uh, Suzelle & Co, which is a North Yorkshire-based stationery company. They sent me this as a thank you for having recommended their stationery on my YouTube channel before Christmas. And I was just absolutely over the moon when I got it. If you watch that unboxing, you'll know how happy I was. And it's just such a beautiful set. I absolutely adore it. It's such a pleasure to use. There are so many gorgeous things inside from gorgeous stickers with the Victoria sponge and teacup, there are little note cards that have the cake and the teacup illustrations as well obviously as the writing paper and envelopes and there's even a little notebook in here as well. So it's all so beautifully done and it makes me very, very happy, this gorgeous writing set. So that has definitely been a favorite thing. And then speaking of stationery, I also wanted to show you this little card set that I recently got. I'm starting to get some spring cards in ahead in time for Easter and all of all of that so i'm really excited to get some new stationery and i love the artist rachel grant and i got this little spring card pack from her etsy shop and it's just so charming i love the mix of florals and just really pretty illustrations to her cards i think that they're lovely and she often creates really sort of calm cozy look looking settings. I really recommend looking at her Etsy shop. She's got beautiful prints as well as some gorgeous cards. And I've bought prints from her in the past, but I also really like to just get some nice cards for each season as well. And I love these spring cards done by her. So really delighted to get these. 
and then people always ask me what kind of teas I drink and for my everyday tea it's pretty much always Yorkshire tea which is just a basic black tea like an English breakfast tea and I have that with milk every day it's the tea that I have first thing in the morning to wake me up and I generally drink it sort of through the morning but once it gets to later afternoon and evening I stop drinking any caffeine and I still like to have tea in the evenings but I drink a lot of chamomile tea and other sort of herbal or fruity teas and this month what I've been really enjoying actually is this Betty's tea which is strawberry cherry and rose tisane so this isn't caffeinated which makes it a lovely tea for me to drink in the evenings and it's just got a really nice taste to it I also like the sort of fruity smell as well and it's very very pleasant so I've been enjoying this one a lot and somehow strawberry cherry and rose has just felt very romantic for um, February very appropriate for the romantic months of February so yes I've been really enjoying this tea and then I think the thing that I've loved the absolute most that I've got recently is something that I've been saving up for to get for myself for a while and I finally got it a few days ago I'm so so excited I got this incredible book trough which is absolutely beautiful. I've filmed some cutaways so you can see it properly. Um, but this is from Robert Thompson of Kilbourne in Yorkshire. And the furniture is generally known as Mouseman Furniture because of his little signature logo that started, I think, in the early 1940s of carving a tiny little mouse into his woodwork and I just think it's adorable it's incredible quality Robert Thompson was a famous craftsman I think he started his business sort of soon after World War One and became really well known throughout Yorkshire and the UK he's done a lot of work in all of the churches around North Yorkshire and I'd like to do a little trail at some point to sort of try and see more of his craftsmanship in the churches around here but it's still a family business that's being continued. It's still based in Kilburn, where it was originally set up. And Kilburn is this charming village. Mum and I drove there earlier in the week to pick up the book trough that I'd ordered. And it just made such a lovely outing. I'd love to film a vlog of going there at some point, but I'll do that later in the year when they open things up. They open a sort of cafe and a little museum and stuff later in the springtime. So I'd love to go back and film then. But you know how much I love book troughs. I have one already that people always ask me about and it's quite a bit smaller than this one and I picked it up secondhand really really cheaply but I've been looking out for a bit of a bigger and nicer one for a while and when I realized that I could get a Mouseman one then I was very excited so this is something that I've been wanting for a while and was just so thrilled to finally get and it's perfect because it fits all of my Persephone classic set. I discovered that they all fit really nicely in here. So absolutely delighted with this. And if you're in the area, I so recommend going to Kilburn and having a look at the beautiful showroom where you can see all the furniture. It's just so gorgeous. And if you're a book lover, then getting a special book trough like that, I think is just wonderful. And it will always mean a lot to me because it's really connected not only to my love of books but also to Yorkshire and this local craftsmanship so I was absolutely overjoyed with that
And then I also got um, a few books as well that I've been really loving. This is something else that's making me very excited for spring. This is Flower Philosophy by Anna Potter of Swallows and Damsons. Seasonal projects to inspire and restore. And I love this because this is actually another sort of Yorkshire-based person, <laughs> which is wonderful. But also it's a real seasonal book and it looks at flowers and flower arrangements through each season all through the year. And I find that really inspiring for my own photography, which is wonderful. And it's just such a beautiful book to look through. This has really made me very happy looking at this book lately. I adore flowers. And even though I would never want to be a florist or anything like that, I just love flowers. I love using them in my own photography. And they're such an important part of each season to me that I love books like this that really sort of celebrate seasonality and flowers. So this has been a real favorite. And then I've told you about this one already, but I wanted to highlight it again because this has been such a favorite of mine recently too. That's A Table Full of Love by Sky McAlpine. It's her latest cookbook. I have all of her previous cookbooks too, but I'm really loving this new one. I mean, it's a work of art in itself. I absolutely adore the marble edged paper in the book and Sky's amazing photography is just splendid as always. This is such a feast for the eyes as well as for the tummy. <laughs> it's full of wonderful recipes, but it's also just gorgeous to flick through this book. It's so inspirational, so aspirational as well. And I also love the focus on how cooking food for other people, but also for yourself is a real act of love. And I really agree with that philosophy. And this is just a gorgeous cookbook that I've been loving. So. Yeah, I wanted to highlight this one again. And then my mum got me an early Galentine's gift that arrived as a surprise just the other day. And it was so wonderful that I had to share it with you. And it's this signed edition of Winter Solstice by Rosamond Pilcher. I was absolutely thrilled to get a book signed by her. I don't have anything signed by Rosamond Pilcher, but she's one of my favorite writers. And Winter Solstice is one of my very, very favorite books by her. And it's one I like to reread every Christmas. It's just a magical story. I really love it. So to have a signed edition is so special. And I thought it was such a thoughtful gift from my mum to give me a favourite book that's signed by the author. Um, that was just so, so wonderful, such a special thing. So this has been a real favourite thing, obviously, of mine lately. And then I got my mum a, a little early Galentine's gift as well. And I got her this Emma Bridgewater kettle, which Happily, she was absolutely thrilled to get. I mean, you know how much we both love Emma Bridgewater. This is Russell Hobbs for Emma Bridgewater. And my mum has been kind of complaining a bit about our old kettle, which is definitely the worst for wear. Like the switch has been glued back together again. <laughs> and it's um, just really seen better days, our kettle. So I know she's been really wanting a bit of a kettle upgrade. And when I saw this one on Emma Bridgewater, I thought mum's going to absolutely love it. So she was really thrilled. And yes, I think it's just so sweet. I love it too. So I'm really thrilled to get a new kettle. And then I also wanted to highlight the tin trays from Emma Bridgewater. I think these are so reasonable. This is £10 and it's just so sweet. I absolutely love the tin trays that she does and I really recommend looking out for them. This is the sort of new Valentine's pattern that she did. I think though it can go all through sort of February and March, especially in the UK, March um, has Mother's Day in it. And so this sort of 
sweet bird and hearts pattern I think is really appropriate for Mother's Day and for March as well. So I'm definitely going to be keeping using this one sort of through the weeks ahead. And I think it's really sweet and it makes it such a nice gift for someone or just a lovely way to brighten up your kitchen or your dining table a bit. So I really recommend having a look at her tin products because they are so reasonable but so so pretty. So those are all of my favourite things lately. I hope you enjoyed these recommendations. Let me know if any in particular appeal to you and what things you've been especially loving lately as well. I'd be really keen to know. But I hope you've all had a wonderful weekend. I'm actually going to be taking a break for the next week. So I'll see you again on the Thursday that's for the Comfort Book Club. But I'm, I'm going to be taking next Thursday and Sunday off vlogging. We have some visitors coming from France and I also have a lot of sort of personal commitments over this next week which would make trying to film very very difficult. So I'm taking off this next week but I'll be back the following week for the Comfort Book Club discussion of The Nun Such by Georgette Hare which I'm really looking forward to. So yes, I hope you have a wonderful week ahead. I know in the UK it's half term week. So if it's half term for you, then I hope you have a good half term. But thank you so much for watching my videos. Extra big thanks to those of you who pressed the super thanks button on my last video. You're always so appreciated. But thank you to everyone who likes and comments and watches my videos. I really appreciate it. And I'll be taking a break next week, but I'll see you again after that. So looking forward to catching up then.